They call themselves the scholar and the skinhead. Starting from a position of polar opposites, they're part of an educational programme challenging the stereotypes that can lead to radicalisation and extremism. Today, they're at Burnage Academy for Boys. Be aware of the extremist recruiters and their methods. This is the school that Manchester Arena bomber Salman Abadi attended for 18 months, but they refuse to be defined by that fact, but are keen to create a space for tough conversations. If we don't have them in this safe space in this school, then somebody else will want to have them at a later date. And it's not about um, a particular community that comes to this school. I mean, extremism and radicalisation exist in a variety of communities, in all communities. I am English. No problem. It highlights how easy it might be to form opinions. In fact, one of the course leaders was a member of the far-right English Defence League. He joined after seeing a radical Muslim cleric on TV. I come from a town where there's not much diversity. There's not much to get to know the other person. So a lot of things we were seeing, I took as face value. We tend to uh, discuss, converse, we have workshops uh, around uh, who are you? Is it wrong to be many things or are you only one thing? These education sessions engage children to talk about how they feel as well as giving them tools to challenge others. Yeah, people are really fast to make a judgement so there's two sides to every story. I think it's very interesting that um, two people, one ex-EDO member and one Muslim, comes to talk to a majority Muslim school to change our ideas. You have to look into detail to, to see the full picture. Just because of a minority, uh, we, don't, we can't judge a majority of people. Well, that school motto of education being the most powerful weapon is what this is all about, using tough conversations to challenge ideas on religion, race and beliefs, and changing that us and them attitude to one of me and you. The education team will visit schools across the region and hope to help end extremism by creating conversation. Sarah Rogers, ITV News in Manchester.